Hi, I'm the Mask Poet, and I'm reciting poems from Poetry's Promise. And this poem is an award winning poem called Sorry, the Post Has Been Filled, and it's self explanatory. Before the interview, he was feeling so thrilled. His confidence heightened, the beans had been spilled. He had heard through the grapevine that he was next in line, but became a victim of discrimination and was out just as quick as he went in. After the interview, the thrill was demolished, later reinforced when a letter was furnished, bearing a contents that continued to tarnish everything he'd ever believed in. All of a sudden, tears started to spill. His hopeful mother asked if he's ill. It's been detected that his hopes have been killed when he manages to garble. The post has been filled. He felt synonymous with a garbage sack, only suitable for rubbish because he was black. Oh, there's some manual work if you want to come back in the morning. Or why don't you try working at McDonald's? You might find that rewarding. The jobs that help one get recognition are designed specifically to abstain those person whose skin is tainted or stained with pain from applying. Discreetly applied through classification on the notice of application, a little box stipulates name country of origin and then to be verify what country do your parents come from? Is this their way of keeping us in our place? Are these the trials we continually face, constantly forever being displaced because we're a part of a historical black race? What a way to take away our dignity. What a way to hold us down economically. And then you have the gall to declare that we're lucky that you allowed us to be over here. No wonder people react with hostility as desperately try to regain their dignity each trying to maintain integrity in a system that advocates democracy, but instead they're forced to go on the dole, coveting others and losing control, mimicked at home because they sell their soul to keep their family as a whole, but start lacking motivation because they feel incomplete in a strategy they've relented to and have surmised cannot beat. What a way to confiscate my dignity just because you have the power to choose her and not me. You're forcing our parents to work until they're weak. You allege there is deficiency in the way that they speak, but the education you give them is not one that they seek, but a tactic designed to confuse and belate the awareness of a race that is learning to hate. It's no wonder there's so much blood being spilled. It's no wonder that injustice is making us ill when there's constant rejection by an insensitive nation that thrives on the thrill of saying, the post has been filled.